Good morning, beloved. This morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 7, verses 8 and 9. They said to Samuel, Do not stop crying out to the Lord our God for us, that he may rescue us from the hand of the Philistines. Then Samuel took a suckling lamb and sacrificed it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. He cried out to the Lord on Israel's behalf, and the Lord answered him. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, I pray that you would help us to cry out to you through the lamb sacrificed on our behalf our Savior, Christ Jesus, the Lamb of God that came to take away the sin of the world. Father, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, beloved, the Philistines are coming to attack, and there is a great fear among the people. When the Philistines uh, heard that Israel had assembled at Mizpah, the rulers of the Philistines came up to attack them. We heard this yesterday. Today, they said to Samuel, do not stop crying out to the Lord our God for us, that he may rescue us from the hand of the Philistines. Continue to make intercession. Yesterday, I, I or two days ago, we talked about uh, Jesus Christ, our intercessor, ever making intercession for us, not stopping, beloved. We have to trust by faith that Jesus is doing it. It's one of the calling of faith that we trust God that he is doing it for us. And he is doing it for you and for me. Jesus Christ is making intercession for us even now. Then Samuel took a suckling lamb and sacrificed it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Beloved, the, the suckling lamb, the, the lamb that was perfect as an offering to God, was made for the people of Israel by Samuel and was made by God the Father on our behalf when Jesus was sacrificed for us. That's why John the Baptist said that he is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. I said that as I, as I prayed at the beginning of this. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. He came and was sacrificed for us. Verse 9 finishes with, He cried out to the Lord on his behalf, and the Lord answered him. Beloved, God will answer our prayers because Jesus Christ is there. But what does that mean for those of us maybe that don't pray enough, that aren't crying out to God? We're not desperate enough. You know, beloved, uh, I, I watched a, a recently watched a, a video. It wasn't a Christian video, but it was a sad video. It was a North Korean a woman um, and I, I'm sure that, that of all the North Koreans that, that she was prominent, uh, mostly because she was a, just a beautiful young woman, um, and she's left North Korea, and she was talking to an American person about North Korea. And, uh, beloved, uh, as, as she was talking about that, you could hear in her voice that she was desperate for her people in North Korea, not to go back to them because she wanted to be enslaved, but because she wanted them to be set free from the evils that abound in North Korea. And she, in, in the whole, in, it was almost an hour interview that I listened to. In the hour interview, she kept coming back to it over and over again. She didn't stop. It was that important to her. Now, beloved, this is a woman, I don't know her, her religious state, and, and she didn't talk about it. But if a person can be worried about her people back in North Korea that are starving and enslaved by an evil government, how come, and, and continue to talk to people about it, how come Christians can't talk to God, can't pray more, crying out to God, He will answer Mark eleven twenty four says, uh, Therefore I say unto you, whatsoever, uh, whatsoever you desire when you pray, if you believe you receive it, you shall have it. Jesus said, if you'll just believe when you pray, that thing that you desire, you'll have it. Why did he say that? Because there are people that don't ask. There are people that don't pray. There are Christians that don't turn to God. We need to cry out to God because then he will answer us. Beloved, 
this needs to be a time where we cry out to God, crying tears because of the great needs that we have. May God bless you as you turn your hearts to him today in prayer.